Gentlemen, welcome to another Napoleon Tetris War Multiplayer Battle. The map is the Syrian Reach, and we have a fight between uh, Ottoman Empire and France. Uh, I think this is um, for Ottoman Empire. It's a good uh, France is a really good match here. And let's start from the host. So this is a uh, crucible. He playing as uh, Ottoman Empire. His right flank is gonna be by two shooter cap with two uh, servants upgrade. He brought uh, uh, what's this? Uh, Selachta guards and one Sepahi cavalry, three foot infantry just behind them. Ahmed Al Jazar, an historical general, and that's a wise choice for for Ottomans. He brought two light infantry. Next to them will be three Mizam uh, foot infantry. Another two shooter calf here on the left, one uh, Basi Bazooks with four Sevrons and another three foot infantry from the opposite side, side sorry, playing as France. We got free, free Lancer and he brought Polish Legion, Old Guard, a militia behind them, a Voltiged unit in front of them, and Swiss foot. Voltigers in front of them, a classic general staff, Swiss foot over there, Voltigers, a national guard, that's a militia but a little bit more expensive than uh, the regular militia, uh, another Voltiger unit in front of them, a Polish legion, an old guard here, and, and another national guard these guys they have a little bit better morale than the regular militia and he put the shots as well also to them polish guard lancers that's an exceptional unit really good i love them uh, a lancer unit and another shots as well so totally three shooter cav one lancer unit and one elite lancer unit so that let the game begin uh, so probably both players are going to rush for the reeds because I see that going at full speed here to take uh, to get their forces uh, as fast as, the, as they can hit to, to the reeds probably they will fight here in the main reeds and the side reeds and uh, we see that freelancer he got three mitchells Probably he's gonna use them to attract the first volleys or use his old guards in a good way. We'll see about it. And we can see clearly here that uh, Crucible is not going to make a light infantry game. Uh, that's because that's why he he brought only two, and he got uh, foot infantry forces. He got nine of them, and uh, he's gonna. Rely to his uh, foot infantry most than his cab, you know, his uh, light infantry. On the other hand, here, uh, freelancers he's going to rely mostly mostly to his uh, militia, which they are going to be as a mid shield, his uh, foot infantry units, and his light infantry. He brought three versus uh, two from the other, from the opposite side. And here we got two shoot cab ready. They are protecting the the passage here on the on the on the left, and he will first support that uh, airport with two foot infantry, while the militia here they is getting too close probably to get shot or make attract the first volleys. So the French cab will try to come up and slaughter this uh, uh, Ottoman uh, cab, but I think yeah he's going to take him back. Nice volleys though from that militia. He hit 50 of, the, of these guys. Nice for volleys, really good. And five men from uh, that unit, totally 20. So we had the form. We have uh, we had crucible form, a square formation here to defend from the upcoming uh, French cavalry. But uh, freelancer took them back. He didn't run all the way down. So I think the first engagement was tied here, no, not much uh, 
on the side. Let's see what's going on here on the other side. So, Crucible, he's protecting his uh, his mid forest here with one Bastard Bazooks and one for Griffin Tree. It's, it's a little bit vulnerable, but he got the forces here to reinforce uh, the flanks at the, that area. Also, he has two light infantry that are just be behind the, the top of the ridge, so the enemy French lights won't be able to shoot them. And also, he got another two foot infantry here, along with uh, one uh, foot infantry here in the middle of the ridge with uh, the two uh, elite uh, lancer units, heavy lancer units. So, actually, these guys are not going to attack from the side because. Uh, uh, there is the Mitchell here from uh, the front side and also there are two lines here protecting that Mitchell So everything comes out from the, this uh, area It will suffer the old guard and the Polish Legion volleys and uh, there's also a cab almost behind them So the Voltizers are here ready to deploy their stakes And that will uh, prevent the Ottoman cavalry to come down and make a direct charge from uh, this side no stakes. Uh, oh, there they are. Stakes over here. Yeah, we got some stakes over here. If I was him, I would have placed stakes around here as well, because uh, this is the. If he, if uh, Ottoman Empire will try a charge here from the center, they won't be able to come down from this uh, side of the ridge and uh, use the cab. So we got some engagement here on the right side. We got the militia taking volleys from that different tree still holding pretty good the Polish legion is right just right behind them and we got another uh, voltage unit over here stakes anywhere not yet now they are going to destroy the stakes probably this is the safety line for the French dudes yeah. this is going to be uh, if, if France is willing to retreat, this is the safe area because uh, the cavalry will suffer kind of damage and losses here from the stakes. Meanwhile, the Bastille Bazooks and two of the Ottoman units they are advancing. Probably, Chris Blucky will try to attack the, this flank. That's why he's reinforcing his uh, left flank. He brought one of his uh, middle uh, foot infantry units here to the to the uh, small left ridge, and now probably he will try and attack with the Basim bazooks. He will try to keep busy the Swiss with the Basim bazooks, and that will give time for that foot infantry to come around here and shoot without taking any fire back from uh, the Swiss foot. Yep. And, uh, this is very correct for my part, this is the strategy, but uh, there is a possibility that these guys will get overflung by that uh, French force over there. You see that there are two units, two cavalry units, Shoshes, Shoshaval, and that uh, unit behind them, two, them, two Shoshes, ready to come and aid and uh, overflung that uh, Ottoman advancing units. But Chris will he still got one of his foot infantry around here to do the same if it's necessary. So. The Basi Bazooks now they're trying to shoot to hunt down that switch foot, but they're gonna stuck here and get the bonus from the old guard with the right over there. So the Turkish guard is on the way, they're gonna shoot, yeah. Like this. The militia and the militia now is out of the game. So with that tactic, Crucible managed to push back the French lines and now he's occupying the forest so the old guard is out of the forest that will minimize the the, the shooting power and we all know that, that shooting power is great so meanwhile we have a turn here from that for easy unit with the shooting team these guys and uh, there is uh, a nade here from that shooting sir unit. sir our general is under attack Actually, the angle here for, for Crucible is not good. Yeah. It's not good because they're taking a uh, search from uh, two sides and maybe that will have a moral effect uh, to these troops. And you see that the, the long-range Voltizers, uh, they're shooting to these guys. And Our men are running, and sir! That's it. So, 
we have the basic basics out of the game as we speak that uh, mountain is arms the almost uh, ready to die they are 50 now the volunteers they're still holding and the militia the national guard is taking all the the bullets from that uh, country that means that france is going to get his uh, best units here uh, unharmed from the ottoman uh, bullets at the other side we got some movement here from the french cab also the old guard is engaging that uh, dudes with their losing morale the entire unit is dead sir and we have a three french cavalry charge versus the old ones probably i'm not sure if these guys are trying to take down that uh, nizam but we have a counter charge here from the uh, silica guard maybe Maybe Krishnamurti will be able to shape the uh, mountain exams, but the French general also Ahmed is around to inspire the men. And uh, another Shoshai Sasabad already here. Oh, we have the Polish guard lances try to take down. Hmm, One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. I will have kept the Polish guard lances for later use. Okay, let's pause for a while because uh, Krishnamurti, while he's uh, fighting the left side, he's. Uh, getting his uh, light infantry now into the battle so he managed to push back the French lines here from that forest now he's willing to take that uh, forest and uh, use it for his advantage that means that the trees will be covering his troops for from the French lines the French lines will have a minimum uh, effect to that uh, dudes over there and you can clearly see that the three lines versus uh, one police legion and eventually one fortitious from that side and that uh, fortitious unit with 23 men meanwhile this side is uh, is stationary they are doing nothing so if I was him if I was freelancer I would have advanced from my left flank right opposite to the Ottomans uphill the mid shield is perfect uh, shield the old guard, the police legion, those two units that can really destroy all the three of them with the uh, aid of that Shoshir Shasavar. The Sipahi cavalry, it's good, but I think that uh, the French cab of the can match them. And also, there is another, another possibility here for the Ottoman lines that the, these guys now, they are protected, only that uh, foot infantry here from the side they are able to help them with the foot uh, infantry square for measure but uh, that's all I can't see any other protection uh, from that side maybe eventually if you can take that uh, foot infantry we place them around here to help uh, and give us some kind of protect from uh, that uh, that uh, that different route meanwhile I made the mistake uh, I wasn't sure I didn't notice that there was two Ottoman units uh, uh, over there so raise my previous comments about the attack over here because there are three cavalry units and only one for france let's roll from here now so what i was telling you about the the light infantry freelancers is going to unleash a short sure, 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 charge to that uh, to that uh, unprotected light infantry units there are two, and these guys can be easily eliminated by that uh, Shoshasasavad. One at each Our men are running, unit. Sir. So, another thing from Crucible that he's losing the units over here too fast, and uh, the French flank over there is holding pretty good. Also, we have some engagement here. The Polish region is trying to take down that Nizam infantry. Probably these guys, they will in square formation because the French cavalry is really close to them. And now we got some reinforcements coming here to the main, uh, to the center of the Ottoman lines. Though the Turkish uh, light infantry now is out of the game, and probably there was a loss from the French cab as well, because I can see only one over there. That's just just so far. And but the second uh, Turkish light infantry is in trouble. The 32 guys and now they're dropping too fast, and they are losing morale. The general staff is around, but. 
we're gonna, we're gonna, he's going to use the boost morale, wise choice. And you see that these guys are shooting to the church here, Sister Cheval, and these guys they dropped 12 men. So, drop morale gave the, bal the ability to that uh, light infantry to stay in the game, but these guys are under heavy fire. So, another thing that I, I noticed is that, uh, oh, sorry about this, sorry about this. I haven't used my new keyboard yet, guys. Yeah, sorry about that. So another thing that I noticed is that Freelancer, he didn't pick the targets to shoot that foot infantry. Yeah, he was shooting all this time to that light infantry. And that was a mistake by him because if I was him, I would have concentrated all my firepower to that uh, foot infantry over there. Uh, because uh, the light infantry is no actually a big man. Our men are running, units. sir! Though this guy is now the rooting, but he managed to hold his two best units here in uh, in good shape. I mean, lots lots of men. Also, we have some uh, action around here, so there is a golden opportunity here for the right French flank to to, to advance, uh, trying to surround the Ottoman forces from uh, this side. Meanwhile. Freelancer, he's taking his uh, old guard and the Polish Legion to reinforce his center, though I don't think that is necessary. That would give time and the opportunity here to Crucible to get his uh, two foot infantry units downhill and engage the National Guard. The National Guard is no match for the two regular foot uh, infantry units. Also, we got the two remaining uh, shooter cav here around ready to take action versus the the french lines and i think this is a big mistake from a uh, freelancer getting his uh, flank out of there and uh, letting only only the militia to to handle this uh, two foot infantry units you can say okay man just the militia yeah but it's one unit that the one unit unit can be very useful meanwhile uh crucible is going to get his two foot infantry here and he will try to fortify this small hill with the aid of Ahmed al Jazar and one of his Sipahi cavalry behind them. And that Polish legion, the Swiss foot, the Voltizer and what's this? The remaining old guard can really destroy these guys. But if I was him, I would have made, uh, I, would, I would have taken that Polish legion and I would have placed them around here. Or if I was fast and maybe this guy's first, I would have sent them here and I would try to make a coordinate track here to take this uh, ridge. But uh, all that speculation during the, during the, the battle, you, you don't know what sometimes what to do and not to do. Uh, okay. So. What Crucible managed so far, he managed to take all the forces over here. So, the disadvantage for the French lines is that they have to fight uh, the Ottomans here on the or inside the, the forest, and uh, that's not good for, for France. So, France he will uh, have some thoughts about it. So, he will take his uh, troops out of the forest. So, he's going to say to Crucible, "Okay, you want me? Come." Come and get me here in open space. I'm not going to follow you there, man. And you can see clearly that the National Guard and the Old Guard, uh, the, his only defense, which is two foot differently here, and uh, with the aid of that uh, remnants of the Shoshas Seval and those two half units of the Shoshas Seval. At the same time, while the Sipahi cavalry is out of the other side, maybe, maybe, I say maybe these Voltizes can take the, the take the advantage and uh, get around here and get some nice hot volumes of that uh, stationary two units over there. So you can pick one of them and just shoot them. So, do we have a Voltizer unit? Trying to shoot that advancing uh, uh, Ottoman on that side. It's funny how they run. So, 
We got two units, three French lines, four eventually. Yeah, which is two. And Chris will gather the most of his cavalry units over here. The, studio, the shooter cav and the lancers. I think these guys are capable of winning the fight but the best of the two success as a Sometimes, especially this map, you need to, to watch uh, what are you shooting at. Give room to me, my man. Give room to me. Don't make me get to the edge. <laughs> oh, sorry about this. We have some action because you see that the Ottomans are losing more. Probably there's an old guy around, maybe. But this is a, the right move from a freelancer. He's going to attack to the weak Ottoman side over there. He got the Polish Legion, the shoes foot. Jewish food over there and the old guy is coming. The old guy can melee these guys, the 50 men of the Nizams and they can, he can really kill them but there is a danger, the shooter cab over there. So if I was him, freelancer, I mean I would have taken these two units up here and I would try to shoot these guys down. But uh, the Our melee, men are running, yeah, sir. you see the old guy, they kick these guys in the ass and now they're in deep trouble. So uh, maybe that uh, old guy now is in deep trouble because these guys are like, got charged by the mountain Zam. Though the mountain Zams, they are not good in the melee, really not good. They might have a chance to kill that uh, old guy, or maybe they, they won't kill them, but they surely make uh, some uh, uh, casualties to them. So. Now they're going to charge to that uh, Voltige unit and these guys probably with the shish foot they are reloading and now they are ready to shoot. So we have a melee fight here. The Polish Jujun came up here. I'm not sure that these guys they have ammunition because they shouldn't have charged with this uh, village of the level. So now it's used from that shooter card. I'm not sure what's going on here. These guys they have any ammunition left. But meanwhile, from back there, you see that these Vultigers, they're shooting to, this, uh, to these lines. So, the bad thing for Freelancer is that he's, he's lost his uh, Polish region. The French Cav now is arriving. But Freelancer, he's gonna sh lost the square over there. And... Chris lost the square, no, he didn't lost it, he wasn't able to form the square and these guys, the French cab, will be able to eliminate that uh, Turkish line. Meanwhile, we have some action here as well, at the center, you see that these guys, they're trying to push the Ottoman troops around here and there is a big fight. So, the French general is around here and the uh, Ottoman cab is trying to chase him down and kill him but uh, freelancer Our men to, are running, to sir. get his uh, general staff behind the safety of his lines so freelancer managed to eliminate the units here on the ridge and now he's standing he should shoot that shooter cap from the rear so he still got some uh, french lines french cap around here to shoot him but the ottoman lines he managed to win the fight in melee so these guys they must shoot this uh, uh, dudes. And now I think at Mohammed Lupino that the French lines you must use a boost morale. So, so we had the sneaky French guy charge hit that general, but uh, I Ahmed uh, went back and he saved himself. There is a shooter cup back there hidden. And uh, that's a fight cover is trying to deal with the Shoshosha survival. So, these guys now that 
trying to take action over that uh, foot to foot race. Our men are running, sir! And that switch foot is just at the edge to form the square. Okay, now they're gonna form the square, but uh, Chris Smith won't charge them there. So actually, the French lines had uh, suffered many losses around here, and you see that all that is, is a in, in a very bad position. So freelancer ordered that Olga to shoot that Sipahi, uh, but these guys now they are exposed to that uh, two different route from uh, the up here. Nice job here from Kuzmi. Nice follows to that Olga. We all know that uh, giving shots to the Olga is so vital. So the first guy is still running, alive, sir. and now they're gonna make a charge to that. Uh, uh, charging the foot infantry was the was the was engaging that switch foot in melee. And you can see how impressive they are, they died. <laughs> so now we got some shooting up coming from the side. Probably they're gonna shoot to that national guard, all the footagers, I'm not sure. And crucible at the same time he going to advance his two remaining units down him to engage the Polish legion inside the forest. He doesn't want to be out of the forest, he wants to be had uh, even chances with that French uh, line. So the, the mountain jumps made the charge to that militia and they made the charge to that uh, old guard as well. The old guard lost the square and maybe there's a possibility of the old guard to, to, to get killed. That's what can turn the tide of the war, the battle, to, to crucial side. You can see here from the, these lines that the game is so even. But Freelancer made a terrible mistake by by using that way his old guard. And you see that these guys drop on to 41 men. That gave time to that uh, this guy to eliminate that uh, remaining teaser And I don't think that these guys do make it back into the game. So we got a foot even square here from that Polish region. We got uh, this mountain, no mountain, that foot even tree trying to mill them. Yes, they are milling them, but the foot, uh, the square is still holding. Yeah. I'm not sure what the old guy is going to shoot. But you can see that a uh, really good micro from uh, Christian that he ordered that uh, backup unit to shoot the old guard and not these guys because he doesn't want to shoot his own men in the back. Also, he got that shooting card around here and he's shooting to that, uh, to that uh, square of Polish region. And it's so impressive that this uh, foot infantry is still holding. Really good, really good. You see, when you have a good general, a uh, good general is uh, nearby, that your man can hold. Really good uh, versus uh, number of opponents. But I think that the old guy should be around here to aid him and uh, do something. Yeah, both these guys they are 29 the number. Our yeah. men are running, sir. They won't be able to make the difference because they are outnumbered. There's a, a huge shoot cup here, 32. A full unit of uh, of uh, Nizams and the general staff. Ahmed can take one by one that uh, French general. He got the double forces here to, to deal with him, but the old guard is going to suffer a charge here from that uh, amount of Nizams. So. Square formation to defend from the charging uh, general staff. The old Glorious the victory, sir, is soon to be yours. And Chris will won the game with his Ottoman Empire. Okay, guys, that was an awesome game. Really good. Uh, Freelancer made a good game. Chris made a really good game. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you to my next video. Athenian out. Ciao.